in her mom. It's you know, she was so stimulated. Oh, this one here will improve the it's, on you. It's 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 eighteen point double sided, so it's not bad. No, I get all my questions in like two minutes, whatever. It doesn't come in. Just Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Carnegie, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to hold a vote on two bills related to protecting the city against another Legionnaire's disease outbreak. In 2015, the city faced the largest Legionnaire's disease outbreak in its history. As a result of this outbreak, 124 people contracted Legionnaire's disease and 12 people actually died. Legionnaire's disease, which is a severe form of pneumonia, is spread through mist. The 2015 outbreak was tied to cooling towers, which are part of a building's air conditioning system. Cooling towers near the outbreak site were inspected and nearly half tested positive, positive for Legionella, the bacteria that causes Legionnaire's disease. Following this Legionnaire's disease outbreak, the City Council enacted Local Law 77 of 2015, which mandates the registration and inspection of cooling towers. Two bills we are voting on today help to ensure compliance with Local Law 77 to prevent further outbreaks of Legionnaire's disease. Proposed intro number 1149B will require that the individuals who conduct cooling tower inspections report the dates certain cooling tower inspections were conducted to the Department of Health and Mental Health, DOHMH, this will ensure that these vital inspections are regularly conducted. This bill would also give the public the right to review results of all cooling tower inspections. Finally, this bill will require DOHMH to send owners and operators of cooling towers an electric reminder before they are required to submit annual certifications for their cooling towers. This reminder would also include a link to the site where the certifications can be submitted. Intro number 1158 would expand cooling tower owner education by requiring DOHMH in, cons in consultation with the Department of Buildings to hold biannual information sessions for building owners regarding the maintenance, cleaning, and inspection of cooling towers. This bill would also require DOHMH and DOB post the information online. Um, I believe that we have an open opening statement by um, Council Member Ben Kalos. Thank you, Chair Carnegie and Speaker Johnson. I'm Council Member Ben Kalos. You can tweet, Graham, Facebook me at Ben Kalos. I want to thank the committee staff on this, uh, particularly the uh, Council for tough negotiations, uh, and Council Member Yeager for being a pre introduction co sponsor. New Yorkers can breathe easier as warm weather and cooling season approaches, as cooling towers that are a breeding ground for Legionnaires will finally have to report compliance with 90-day inspections meant to thwart the spread of the deadly disease. According to WNYC, in June 2018, more than 1,000 cooling towers, representing 20%, were out of compliance with 90-day inspections that must be conducted while operating. Introduction 1149B would require the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene to send owners and operators of cooling towers an electronic reminder 30 days prior to filing deadline for annual certifications with the link to where those certifications can be submitted. The bill would also require cooling towers inspectors to report to DOHMH when the 90-day inspections occur. DOHMH must make this data available on the city website and in open data. Finally, this bill would require building owners to make cooling tower inspection results available for public examination. When it's you, your aging parent, or a child on the line, you want to know that every cooling tower is being inspected to catch Legionnaires before it can spread and kill anyone. I hope that reminding building owners coupled with this Im immediate enforcement for failing to inspect every 90 days can prevent anyone else from getting Legionnaires disease. Thank you. Thank you. We've been joined also by Councilmember Gredenchik, Kalos, Rivera, Chin, and Perkins, and Rosenthal. I believe that we can vote now. William Martin, would you call a roll, please? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on housing and buildings. Both items are coupled. Chair Cornegy. I vote aye. Chin. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Gredenchik. Aye. Perkins. Aye. Rivera. Aye. A vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. I said that we had an 11 to heart time. 11 to heart I can email his. I'll just email his chief of staff. 
Uh, the roll is being held open for 10 minutes.